A shocking new twist in the hunt for the killer of those two Indiana teenagers five years ago. It centers on this man, Ron Logan, who owned the property where the bodies of Abby Williams and Libby German were found. An FBI search warrant has just been released, revealing they searched Logan's home. Logan has been the focus of attention from day one. Inside Edition Stephen Fabian interviewed him in 2017. You just cannot believe this terrible thing that happened to the community and the families actually happened here on my property in my backyard. He claimed he had an alibi, buying tropical fish 20 miles away. See, I was not home during the, the, the time that all this was happening. I was in Lafayette, yeah. and I didn't get home till approximately 6.30 in the evening, and then the neighbor stopped to ask for permission to look back here for the girl. Liberty German shot this chilling image of the killer approaching the girls on a hiking trail, and she recorded the killer's voice. What do you hear on there? Nothing that I recognize at all. N no one. I, I don't... Uh, I don't recognize the voice at all. Stephen asked Ron Logan to repeat those same chilling words. Listen. Down the hill. The newly revealed search warrant says Ron Logan's voice was not inconsistent with that of the person in the video. And that image of the suspect? The warrant declares Logan's physical build is consistent with the suspect. Logan had his own take. The picture is of such poor quality, it doesn't look like anyone I've ever seen. We spoke to Anya Kane and Kevin Greenlee of the true crime podcast, Murder Sheet. They obtained the warrant. I'm not necessarily convinced that Ron Logan was involved in this. Some of the, uh, some of the circumstantial evidence against him is intriguing and should absolutely be looked at. Logan is now dead, reportedly of COVID. He was never charged in the case, and it is unclear whether he was ever considered an official suspect.